In this video, I'll talk about how to find the center of mass of a right triangle rod. So we have given a 30 centimeter long uniform wire. When I say uniform wire, that means it is homogeneous. The mass distribution is constant throughout the, the wire. And this wire is now bent into a right angle triangle. Now we need to find out what is the center of mass of this system? So in order to find the center of mass, what I'm going to do, I'll first find out the mass per unit length of the triangle. So the mass, so the total mass is, is given here, which is 100 gram. This is the total mass given. And the total length is 30 centimeter. So what I found, is in one centimeter the mass is 3.33 gram so once i know the mass per unit length then i can find out the individual mass of each length each side now so the per unit the one centimeter has 3.33 gram mass and we know that this or, or uh, wire is bent into a right angle triangle so we can find out the mass of each side so let's find out the mass of this side here as this has this side has a length of 5 centimeter its mass would be 3.33 times 5 which is 16.7 gram the same way the mass of this side will be simply equal to the length times the mass per unit length which is 40 gram and again if you multiply this length by this number 3.33 gram per centimeter it will give you the mass of this side now and if you add all this mass together you should be able to get the 100 gram mass and which is in fact 100 gram mass so as I mentioned earlier, this is a homogeneous system or the homogeneous rod or homogeneous wire. And we know the mass of each section or each side. So the center of mass of each side is located at the middle. Okay. So we, we, can, we, we can assume that the, or in fact it is, the center of mass of each rod is exactly located at the, the middle of each side. So for this side, the center of mass is located at 0.25 centimeter from the origin because the total length is 5 centimeter. And for this section or for this side, for the 12 centimeter, the center of mass is located at 6 centimeter from the origin along the x-axis. And now for this section, as this is a 13 centimeter length, this length, it has to be located exactly at the middle. So this length will be six centimeter and this length will be two and a half centimeter. So the center of mass, the position of the center of mass of this rod will be six centimeter and 2.5 centimeter. So it's fairly easy simple to find out the the position coordinates of each side okay so again for for uh, the center of mass of this one how do we find out we just take the projection on, on the x-axis and the center of mass would be six the position and on the y-axis it would be two and a half so we now know the position coordinates of the center of mass of each side now and the formula for finding the center of mass is given by this formula here m1 x1 plus m2 x2 plus m3 x3 divided by m1 plus m2 plus m3 and this formula is for the discrete masses where we have the the individual masses just like this condition here okay so now what is the m1 the m1 is the mass of uh, this mass here what is this mass 16.7 gram 
and the x1 is the coordinate so what is the x coordinate of this one it is zero because it is lying along the y axis now m2 x2 the m2 is this mass here what is the mass for the 12 centimeter it is 40 gram so the 40 gram is right here and what is the x2 coordinate the x2 coordinate is this length here which is 6 for m3 the mass is 43.3 which is right here and the x location the x location is 6 centimeter which is right here now and then all the masses together you can you can directly write down 100 gram because the total mass is 100 gram and if you do the math it will be 5 centimeter the same way again exactly the same formula m1 y1 m plus m2 y2 m3 y3 divided by all the masses together that gives you the y location of the center of mass the mass m1 is again 16.7 and the y location for this mass is two and a half and the y location of this one is you tell me now it has to be zero and why it is zero because it is lying along the x-axis similarly m3 y3 is now the mass is 43.3 and the y location is two and a half and if you do the math uh, what you get is two uh, one and a half centimeter so if if i need to represent the center of mass of this one so how do you how do you find it out so this total length is six centimeter so five centimeter let's say closer here it has to be somewhere here and the y location is one and a half so this is about it so i would say better right here so this is the center of mass of this right angle triangle so what is the step how do you find it out first thing this is a very simple system so first try to find out the mass per unit length where is the center of mass of each side then now you can treat each side as a discrete masses and then find it out the center of mass by using this formula the x center of mass and y center of mass all right so this is it for calculating the center of mass of a right angle triangle again if you have any questions write down your questions or if you have uh, any other question that you want me to solve write down in the comment section below and do not forget to like share and subscribe the channel thank you very